So I just wanted to talk a little bit about hemolysis. You notice how this one's a little bit pink. I don't know if you can see that really in this picture, but it has a little bit of pink tinge to it. This is slightly hemoly hemolyzed. Um, when you hemolyze a specimen, it either, you know, it's either hard coming into the, uh, into the tube. You know, there's a lot of variances that can happen and can cause hemolysis. But um, some of the things that this hemolysis can cause you know, is, you know, when you have test results, like higher potassium levels, um, it can change your glucose levels. So if you have a patient who really needs a critical potassium level, like um, cardiac patients, who the doctor really needs a strict potassium level, this will not work. You will not give an accurate and appropriate potassium level because this will show an increased potassium because of the increased hemolysis. Uh, glucose usually goes up on the first day. If it's, if it's going to the lab over a couple days, it'll go up and then it's going to start tapering down because your cells are reacting, your hemoglobin in there starts to react with the glucose and breaks it down. So it's kind of interesting the way it does that, but just thought I'd show you a little bit of hemolysis. Ways to prevent hemolysis, make sure you get in the vein, in the middle of the vein. You have a nice, solid, easy flow. You're not putting a lot of pressure on the cells or on the blood. You don't mix it up really strong. You just want to be, you know, gentle with blood to prevent hemolysis. Have a great day.